Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and welcome to the next video in my Oh So Inspired September series. I hope you'll stick around, see how I'm going to be inspired today, and find out how you can play along. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. At the end of last month, I stopped by and told you about a new series on my channel. It is called Oh So Inspired September, and I am hoping to spend the month focusing on the supplies I currently have and creating new projects that are inspired by other artists out there. That intro video does go into detail about the challenge, so you'll definitely want to watch it. I have it linked in the description box below. Basically, I am asking my subscribers to submit inspiration links and then I'll stop back from time to time this month and create something new based upon the chosen pieces. There are a couple ways for subscribers to join in on the fun and I will tell you more about that later, but for now, why don't we talk about today's inspiration piece? Earlier on in the video, you saw me use random.org to choose today's piece, and before I sat down to create, I didn't know what my inspiration would be. Today's inspiration piece was submitted by Noreen M, and it is the card that is up on screen now. It was originally created by Sanda of Artful Flight. I will have this pin as well as Sanda's blog post linked in the description box below. One of the first things that stood out to me about this card was that it was definitely not my usual style. You know that I'm pretty clean and simple, usually kind of on the brighter side of colors, but I decided not to shy away from the challenge that Noreen gave me, and today I'm going to be doing kind of a shabby chic, mixed media, getting inky kind of card. You will see from that original inspiration piece that I'm going to be taking kind of the blues and browns for a color palette, and I will have a bird as my focal point. Some of my layers will be a little bit different, but I am going to try to do an embellishment cluster. I will be using a variety of items from my stash for today's card, and you'll see here that I'm starting out with four different inks from Gina K Designs to create that ink smooshed background. I am just using a color palette that I made at home, which is actually a piece of cardstock laminated. It takes the water from all the spraying and the ink, and it cleans off easily. Later, you'll see me use a stamp set, and that was actually one that my mom gifted to me, and I believe she got it at the Dollar Tree. And then I also get out some of my most favorite dies from my stash. And although I do want you to consider finding stuff in your stash to use if you're inspired to create, I do know that some of you still like to know the products I've used. So what I can find, I will link in that description box below. Because I want to keep this series focused on the inspiration pieces and the end product, I'm not going to spend each video like normal voicing over every step. But I do want to let you know that if you see me do something on screen or use something that I don't address in the voiceover, you can always leave me a comment or question in the comment section below. And I will definitely answer those as soon as I can. If you do enjoy today's video and you want to see more like this, I will have the entire playlist for Oh So Inspired September linked in the description box below and it will be at the end of the video as an end card. 
Now let me tell you how you can play along. There are a couple ways. The first is just by watching the videos, leaving comments, giving it thumbs up, and then going to visit the original posts and leaving those artists some love as well. The second is by creating your own piece inspired by today's card. You can take anything you want from that original card and create any type of project that you would like as well. For instance, maybe you just like the bird on it, so you want to create a card with a bird, but yours is clean and simple or bright colors. Maybe you do like the blues and browns like I used. Maybe you don't want to make a card. That's cool. Make yourself a bookmark or a tag or an altered project. The idea is just to be inspired by other creators out there. If you do create something, I would love to see it. You can share here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok with a couple special hashtags, which I will tell you about in a minute. You can also share your photo in my Facebook group. I do have a designated album for all of the Oh So Inspired September photos, and that will be linked in the description box below. If you're not already a member of the Facebook group and you do want to join, please make sure you answer all of the questions and agree to the group rules. If you do not do that, Facebook will not approve your membership request. The hashtags for today's video are up on screen now, so don't forget to use those if you post on social media. I can't wait to see what you are inspired to create. As I am finishing up the card, I thought I would give you another look at the inspiration piece and kind of talk about some other items I did or didn't use from that. So up on the top left now is a look again at the original card and now you can see from the card that I am putting together I did use the wood grain in a little rectangle and I did some layering of doilies and tags but I shifted mine just a little bit. I also decided to add a sentiment to the front of my card and since the beautiful stamp from the stamp set fit the tag, that made a perfect spot for me to stamp it onto. Now unlike the original card where they used the white die cuts like the little twiggy or stem looking die cuts, instead of using white for mine, I decided that I wanted to bring in some of that navy color from my card base and it also just helps bring in more of those blues. So that was something I changed as well. Now if you've been around my channel long, you also know that I like to add a little bling to everything. So even though this is kind of shabby chic and muted tones, I did bring in some sparkly enamel dots to finish the card off. Up on screen now are some close-up looks at the finished card, and at the end of the month, this will be on its way to Noreen. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.